everyone welcome back to my channel so as you can tell i have like a little bit of a different setup today and that's because i'm in my bathroom because today i'm going to be filming my skincare routine which is nothing crazy and before we start i just want to say i'm not like licensed esthetician and dermatologist or anything these are just the products i use and that work for me um you could find like i'm sure something that works a lot better for you it just depends on your skin type and everything like that but like I do like watch a lot of YouTubers who are really into skincare, especially skincare by Hiram. He's one of my favorites. So we're just gonna get right into it. So right now on my face, I just have like super light makeup just from like my day to day because it is like the nighttime, like afternoon. So I'm just ready to take it all off, but it's just like super basic, like nothing crazy at all. Like barely any mascara even. And through my makeup, I like to go in with the Drunk Elephant Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. I got it pretty recently and I've liked it so far. Like it comes with this like little spatula, which I like and it's just, like just magnetic onto here. And I feel like it does a pretty good job of like taking off my eye makeup and stuff, which is something I like. And it just like, look, see you guys made it pretty decent done. I've had it for maybe like a month now. I definitely like this better than the pharmacy one because I feel like it does a more effective job on my skin. So I like to just go in with like a little like that much like not even like sometimes i use less sometimes more it just depends on my makeup this is definitely more of like an oil cleanser and it cleanses your face through like oil and the next step i'll go in with like my normal cleanser but so i just rub this all over and i just keep rubbing and then when i go to rinse i rub like into my eyes a little not crazy like nothing too intense but i just feel like it does a really good job of getting everything that needs to get off off so i'm gonna go rinse and then i'll be right back once my makeup's off i like i wash that off already my skin is nice and like clean of all that i like to go in with the fresh soy face cleanser this is like one of my all-time favorite cleansers i was using like a different cleanser i don't even know what it was and i just was like sick of it i was like i don't like this like i need a different cleanser so i was looking through sephora and i saw this and i was like oh my god like i used to love this like so i got it again and I love how like lightweight it is. Like it's nothing like super heavy. And I love pairing it with the Drunk Elephant like makeup melting balm because that paired with this is like perfect way face feels so clean after. It's a really nice water-based cleanser. And I definitely recommend this for a lot of skin types, especially if you have sensitive skin. It's super nice for that. So I just like to take like one to two pumps, like not too much. And I just like rub this into my skin. My, my hands are damp, so. It will create like a little foam effect like it's nothing crazy it's, it's a super gentle cleanser which is what i really like about it so i'm gonna go rinse this off and i'll be right back today is my exfoliating day i try to exfoliate like once a week like max like i don't want to mess up my skin too bad because it's not super good to use like physical exfoliants too often and so i have the i can't even i don't even know how to say this I couldn't tell you, but this is what I have. It's called the Deep Cleansing Exfoliator. And so basically like when I use it, I like to just focus like right here because this is where I really need to be exfoliated. So I just take a super tiny amount, like nothing crazy. And again, my like my hands are like damp from like when I washed my face. So I literally take like a pea size amount of this just because I don't want to like exfoliate too much, you know? And I just like rub this into this area where I have like on my nose I do get like a decent amount of blackheads so it really helps like no matter what I've tried and I put a little like on my chin and on my on my forehead just like in my t-zone where it's my problem areas and I just like rub this in for a little but like not too harsh like I'm super gentle on my skin because I don't want to like mess it up or anything so I just rinsed that off and I'm going to go into like serums and stuff next, but I just wanted to talk about um, two masks I like to use for a day that don't exfoliate. I do not use these on the same days because they are like harsh masks and they're good for exfoliating as well, but like I, so I don't do them the same day exfoliate just because I don't want to put too much on my skin on one day. But two of my favorite masks are from The Ordinary. This is the AHA BHA Peeling Solution. Like, I'm sure you've seen this. Like, it used to be all over TikTok. Like, it's super good. This is my second bottle, actually, because I use it all the time. Well, not all the time. I try to limit, like, one mask a week and explain one week, like, as well. So I do it, like, a few days apart as well. 
but this is like one of my all-time favorite masks. And then I also really like the Ordinary Salicylic Acid Mask. This one's super good, especially for like acne and stuff like that. And it's a little more gentle than the peeling one, but this one's also super good. I really focus this around here because I feel like that's where it does the most work. And so these are two of my all-time favorite masks. Like they're super inexpensive. I think like $7 each or something around that. And you can get them like, I think like Ulta, Sephora has it. I don't know. I'm sure you can get them other places. But this is my second for each of these. Like they're super good, super inexpensive. And I definitely recommend them to like everyone. So for my serum, my favorite one is the Buffet by The Ordinary. It has like a bunch of good benefits for your skin. It's super good. It's my all-time favorite. I've also tried the high niacinamide one and I really enjoy that one. But this one's super good because it literally has all of that in there. Like it has all the good ingredients you want in your skincare in this. And like I said, like with the mask, it's just super affordable. And so I just like to put some on my fingers. Not too much. Like you really don't need that much. And I just like put this on my skin. As you can tell, like I do focus a lot around my nose and my cheek area. And that's because I feel like that's where I break out the most. So I try to put like the most love here. But yeah, that's it for that. And then I also really love the Sunday Riley UFO Acne Treatment Facial Oil. It literally smells like oregano, which is like weird. Like it threw me off when I first got it, but it's super good. I love it for like around my, my nose area as well. So I just put some of my fingertips and I just put this on super easy, not crazy. I only use this at night because like you shouldn't wear this in the sun. So I just put this on at night and I really like how it works on my skin. I feel like it super good i recommend this like all my friends like i love this product after i all my serums i like to go in with my moisturizer and right now i'm using the bio essence squalene and omega repair cream this one's super good it's super hydrating as well which is why i like to use it at night especially because it leaves my face super hydrated like as you can tell like i just got this like i finished whatever was on like the lid first and then i went to the normal one but i just like put this on my face it's so hydrating like if you have dry skin this is definitely for you that's why i like to use it at night because i have more combo skin so i don't really need all that moisture during the day but during the night i really like using this and i also bring it down my neck just because you know you don't want your neck to get all old and wrinkly faster like you might as well try to prevent that while you can but it's a super good moisturizer at least my skin is so soft when i wake up and like and it has a lot of good ingredients in it too which is another reason i like it but it could be a little pricey but like it's still one of my favorites I, I think this is my second one i've used of it too next i like to go with another serum by the ordinary this is their caffeine solution and i literally take like the smallest amount of this like not a lot at all and i put this like under my eyes i just tap it in with my middle finger and just put it all under my eyes because caffeine is really good for your under eyes and fixing that. I also like really only do this at nighttime, but I still, I like this product a lot. And then lastly in my skincare routine, I like to go in with the Glossier, what is this called? Zit Stick. It's a breakout eraser. It's super easy to use. Like I literally, if I have like, I just crank it up a little. And then if I have somewhere that's like a little like broken out, like on my forehead, I have a little pimple right here i'll just put this right on and i feel like overnight it's literally dried out like it's gone so i just put that really easy it's super convenient i like it i like the applicator a lot it's super easy to use and i like how it has a uh, like a metal little thing to put it on because it's like more hygienic and it's easier to clean so i really enjoyed this but yeah so that's basically it for my nighttime skincare routine during the mornings it does change a little bit so if you like to see that, let me know in the comments. But if you're doing your skincare in the morning, make sure you put on your sunscreen. That's literally the most important step. And two of my favorites are the CeraVe and Facial Moisturizing Cream. This is super good and it has SPF 30 in it, which is super good for your skin. It does leave a little bit of a white cast. So if you have like a deeper skin tone, I wouldn't recommend this just because you don't want a white cast. Like that's going to look weird on your skin and like it sucks that this has this but it's still a really good one 
And another option I like is, this one's super dirty because I use it all the time, but the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer with SPF 40. This one's super good as well. I really enjoy this one. It does have like a teeny bit of tint. So like when I know I'm going somewhere and I'm not gonna wear makeup, I'll put this on. It gives me like a little tint on my face, but yeah. That's basically it. Make sure you put on your sunscreen. Guys and gals watching this, you have to if you want to protect your skin. But that's it for my nighttime skincare routine. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, like all these products are amazing. I'll link them down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great morning, nighttime, whatever time you're watching this. So bye!